I'm trying to do more and more stuff in Blender 2.5 because I'm getting a lot of requests for that. And also, something I've been wanting to get into more uh, myself is um, using Python in Blender's game logic uh, editor. Uh, so we're going to look at some very basic stuff today in Blender. Uh, I'm running Blender 2.56 uh, right now. And uh, let's just, we have our default view here. Let's come up here, come uh, up here and click on this little icon next to where it says default and come down to game logic and we'll give you a little setup for uh, game logic editing. Uh, you're in a top view here. I'm going to hover over here and hit zero on the number pad, not the top row, but the number pad to go to camera view. That's just where I want to be for this tutorial. Over here we have a text editor, which we're going to be using in a moment. But uh, right now we have the cube selected. If you don't have selected, be sure to right click it to select it. And down here we have some uh, logic options, uh, just like uh, you would in Blender 2.4, uh, if you're familiar with that at all. So what I'm going to do here is with the cube selected, I'm going to add a sensor, and it's going to be a keyboard sensor. And right here where it says key, I'm going to click on that and hit X, and that makes it uh, the X key. Oh, by the way, I want to also mention that this tutorial is based on a tutorial from a website called tutorialsforblender3d.com. Anyway, continuing. Uh, so this sensor is basically going to be triggered every time I hit X on my keyboard. Uh, right now, the name of the sensor is keyboard. We're going to want to change that. Uh, I'm just going to change it to on. And basically, when we hit X, it's going to start the key rotating until we hit another key which we're going to set right now, so add another sensor, keyboard, for key right here, we'll hit C, and that will cancel the rotation. And we're going to relabel this off. Now you can call them whatever you want, but realize here I put on with a capital O and off with a capital O. We're working uh, with programming languages here, especially in Python, but most programming languages. Uh, it's always just good to do things case sensitive. So this is very important. This is case sensitive here. Remember that whatever you put there, it's whatever you want to put there, but you're going to have to type it exactly the same from here on out. Okay, so we have that set. Let's set an actuator over here. And we're just going to do a simple motion, or actually motion, and the type here is simple. And for rotation, we're going to set this rotation, uh, we got X, Y, and Z, so this is going to be rotating on the Z axis, one degree uh, whenever the sensor is hit. Uh, and then in the center here, we're going to add a Python script. Also, we want to rename this, you don't have to, but I'm going to rename this spin with a capital S. Uh, let's be sure to connect all these. Oops. So just drag this little dot to here, connect the wires up. So what we have set here, if we had, if we didn't do a Python script, if we just did a end, uh, well actually an or option, if you hit X and or C, depending on what you have set, it would rotate it. But we want it to set it to, when you press X, it starts to rotate. When you press C, it stops. We're going to have to write a Python script for this. So up here in our text editor, we're going to click New. And now we're creating a new text. Let's rename this, and we'll just call it rotate.py, because it's a Python script. Also, let's drag this over a little bit and click this AB button here. That will color code our scripts, helps you easierly. easierly. Uh, it will help you see uh, errors in your typing a little bit better because uh, things will be color coded wrong if not. First thing we need to do is we need, in, need to import the game logic module. This is a Blender game uh, logic module. And all you have to do is type import, capital G for game, capital L for logic. Okay. Next, we're going to have to create an object. Also, I probably should have said earlier, I mean, you can go through this tutorial and, and do this and it will work, but for you to really understand it, you should have some basic Python knowledge. So I suggest learning Python. I've got a few tutorials on it and there's a bunch out there. Python is a great programming language. Anyway, we're going to create an object. We'll call it controller. And that object is going to be a game logic object. And it's going to be a dot get capital C current capital C controller. Be sure to spell everything right or it won't work. 
Okay, so that's just basically saying that object is going to get a controller. The controller is basically everything. You got your controller here, but you got your sensors and actuators are our controllers. So that object is going to be all the inputs and outputs into this script. Uh, so now we're going to create other objects that break that down a little bit more. I'm going to create a object. We'll call it send list. Once again, you can call it whatever you want. But remember, it's case sensitive. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to make this object the look at the controller. Let's remember to spell everything right. <laughs> controller dot sensors. So basically, the send list is going to be a Python list that is going to contain all the inputs, which we have on and off here. Uh, next, and once again, spell everything right, unlike I do. I missed an S here. There we go. Okay, now we're going to create another object. We're going to call it on with lowercase o. And it's going to look at our sensor list. And it's going to look for a sensor that is on with a capital O. So basically, uh, it's saying this object on is equal to when this input here, capital on. So when you press X, it's going to send the signal on with a capital O to our script. And this on is going to equal that. So when you press it, that's going to be true. You'll see that in a moment. I hope I'm explaining this well. I, I don't know if I am. Next, we're going to create another object off from our sense list and inside square brackets and inside quotations, we're going to go off with a capital O. And that's our off from over here. Next, we're going to create a um, action list or actuator list. So we're going to get a list of all our actuators over here. So we're going to say, we'll call it act list. And that's going to equal our controller dot actuators. And just like this grabbed all of our sensor inputs over here, this is going to grab a list of all our actuators over here. And there's only one in this case, but that may be different in the future. Um, in other scripts anyway. Now we're going to create another object. We're going to call it spin. And it's going to equal act list. And it's going to be our spin. So lowercase spin here because we're creating a new object. And it's going to be actuating our spin right here with a capital S. So now we're almost done. Four more lines. We're going to say if on, and that's our on right up here. So if on dot positive, equals, equal, equal, you would know that if you're familiar with Python, is true. So basically we're saying anytime that this sensor is, is activated. So when you press X, that become true. And we're going to say controller dot activate. And what are we going to activate? We're going to activate our spin object that we created up here. So that's going to make it start to spin. And not just when you're pressing the button, but all the time until off dot positive equals true. And we're going to say controller dot activate. And we're going to say spin. So let's have a look at this. One last thing left to do. This is rotate Python script. We're going to come down here and add that script right here. So we have all the inputs and outputs connected to our Python script. Hover your cursor over the 3D window, press P. Now if I hit X, nothing happens. If I hit C, nothing happens. I obviously have typed something wrong. Let's review what we typed. Okay, so we got controller here. Logic, get current controller. If off, 
positive true controller. Oh, that's our pro. Well, that's one of our problems. This should say deactivate there. Uh, so that's one problem. I didn't catch another problem, but obviously I typed something wrong here. Okay, this is the issue. Uh, I think we'll see what happens after I change this. I wrote gamer logic here. A lot of you probably caught that. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but troubleshooting code. Hey, it's something programmers have to do. Uh, let's try this again. P. If I X, hey, it starts rotating. If I hit C, it stops. X again, it starts. Now I'm not holding down the button. It's just I tap it. It goes. I tap C. It stops. So let's have a quick uh, review over the code again. We're importing logic editor here. And we're creating a controller object based on that. And uh, here we're getting a list of all sensors. We have two. Uh, and we're creating objects based on those on and off, on and off, and objects on and off. And we have um, creating an actuator list here. And we're getting a list of all our actuators right over here. There's only one, which is spin. And we have spin equals uh, a, a, uh, our spin object. So we're creating another object based on our spin motion over here. Now, if on is positive, so if X is pressed, so if, if it's positive, if it's true, we are going to activate the spin. If off positive equals true, controller, which is our deactivate, and we're deactivating spin. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You just got to watch those typos. And, uh, you know, it's okay. I messed up. I mess up in front of you guys all the time. It happens. It's part of programming. And, uh, you know, it's little things like that, adding an R there. Uh, I'm sure there's a, probably a debugging window. I'm almost positive that um, I probably, if I had that open, I would have uh, gotten an error message telling me what the problem was. So maybe I'll go over that in a future tutorial. I do know that there is a, uh, a uh, programming or a, a Python window in here, a scripting window in here. I just never really use it because I haven't done very many scripts in Blender. Uh, but hopefully that will change and I'll have a lot to teach you guys in the future. I thank you for watching and visit filmsbychris.com. Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.